Guys, malt review extraordinaire time. Malt review time. We have a couple legendary old 1965 Bowmores. Bowmores. We don't normally review like this, Mike. Um, so we have, you can tell them, what, 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 what Bowmores do we have here? It's like a Bowmore battle. Yep. So this is the 43% version, the UK uh, miniature. Don't have the full bottle. Yeah. Uh, 1965 bottled mid 1980s. It's about 20 years old. This is the 65 Sofiantino 50% ABV full strength version. <laughs> You're not holding it so they could see. No, but the full strength's like. Oh, that. okay, okay, got full it. Full strength it. version. Now, talk about a unicorn. There's also a 65 Sofiantino cask, same red label, cask strength version. I've only seen that once in Italian shop. It was about 57.8% wow. ABV. I've never seen it auction, never seen it anywhere else. But that's one, and then there's a fourth version, 1965, and then right here, where this is printed normally kind of the, the pinkish purple color, it's black face, straight black font typed, 43% uh, ABV for the French market by a French importer, uh, Auxil. So those are the four versions of the Bone War 65. So we only have two of them. Um, this is a miniature. But we've had two of these miniatures before. Yes. Absolutely adored it. Adored it. Um, reason why we ended up getting this one to compare. So we thought we'd kind of do a comparison video. We've obviously had a few drams of this already. We've tried this several times before. And uh, here we go. Without further ado, this is the review. We actually have them um, in this. Which order do you have them in? Yeah. Battle of the Bowmores. Yeah, so with uh, the right glass, so it's not blind. We know which which is which. Yeah. Um, the one on the right is the yeah, because th th this one is darker than the miniature, Correct. so it's easy to tell. Correct. So forty three percent versus fifty percent. Yes, sir. All right. Um, which one are we nosing first? Forty three. Forty three. Um, and the age we uh, do, what was oh, the age on this one? They're both about twenty years old. Probably between 18 and 20. Both bottled mid-1980s. This right away um, has that Bowmore magic fruit that you get in the 50s and 60s from Bowmore. Mangoes, pink grapefruit, salted lemons, guava, kiwi. Magic Bowmore fruits. I think the main thing, and this is something that, that Mike, Mike, you bring up all the time when we're chatting about it, this whiskey alone, is, is those pink grapefruits. Oh. The sweetest, most luscious pink grapefruit I've yeah. ever had, ever. If you can describe this whiskey in one word, well, I guess it's two words, pink grapefruit. Boom. Yeah, we say pink, just think like the sweetest, most luscious possible grapefruit. I've yes, ever had yes, yes, yes. You know, not not, not the super sour, bitter, not yeah. The not, super, yeah, yeah sour not the bitter ones. ones. But that, that kind of exotic, different citrus flavor of a grapefruit. And something you get with these old Bowmores, those, those mangoes, right? Mangoes. Those special, special mangoes. These are both sherry casks. Yes. Yeah, the, the amazing part is, like, whether it's the Bowmore 1956 Sofiantino, you know, which is kind of lighter like this, the Bowmore 1964 Sofiantino, which is, like, Bowmore black color, or this one... They're all sherry casks, so just a matter of first fill, second fill, etc. Yeah, but you're getting like bourbon cask style fruits from yes, this. There's no way different. blindly I'd say that this is a sherry cask. No, exactly, right? exactly. The Bowmore 64 is like sherry cask bomb. The 56 and the 65, you think crazy, juicy, tropical bourbon fruits, even though they're sherry cask. This essentially is, again, the, the miniature, the 43% one. Pure fruit party. Pure fruit party. Pure fruit, yeah. fruit, <laughs> pure fruit party. You get that. It's a beautiful light peatiness that's just not, it's not medicinal in any way. It's a very sweet style peat. It just goes so well with the fruits. Yeah, the peat comes off much more like coastal, 
uh, candied sweet element, just highlighting, kind of salting, making the fruits more exotic. There are some, uh, some nice spices in here, cinnamon, nutmeg, some baking spices. But again, the, the exotic fruits are always the star of these guys. Um, 50% one? Yeah, 50%. It's a little darker in color. I don't know if you guys could see. It's a tad bit darker. Yeah, not too much, but there is a difference. Completely different. This is completely um, a different whiskey. You're, you're not getting that lusciousness fruit-wise. You're getting actually quite a bit of funk in this one, something I wasn't expecting. No. Yeah, the, the fruits are there, but they're muted in the background. This is like nasty, dirty, earthy, foresty, peaty, funk, like blue cheese party. Yes. We were discussing this whiskey yeah. as we were letting this breathe for the last 45 minutes. Wow. Um, and it's just that blue cheese kind of funk. We even mentioned uh, gym socks. Yeah, like, like imagine being a high school locker room gym socks, that, that sweaty funk, that dankiness. Sounds really nasty. And this has some of that weird kind of funk. But then when you combine that with the fruits, um, it's even got like a grassy kind of like foresty kind of element oh, yeah. to it. And even like a Brora-esque kind of like horse stableiness kind mm -hmm. of kind of funky and cheesy and fruity and, and just very different. Because it's like it's like it makes the fruits dirt. It's like dirty, sweaty fruits. It's different. It adds complexity. Yeah. Very, very different. Acquired kind of an experience, kind of a, a taste. Uh, it's complex, unique. Well, like you said, almost Not, like almost like Brora. A very acquired appreciation of yes, taste. Yes. Yes. Big time. Not what I was expecting. Not like any other Bowmore I've ever smelled. No. Yeah, very unique and uncharacteristic yeah. of, of the 1960s Bowmores. Yeah, so it becomes like a super fruity. What I was kind of expecting from a 60s right. Bowmore. Simpler, to, less complex, but to amazing like, fruits. To like... Straightforward. Bowmore and, and Brora yeah. had a baby together. Yeah. The more challenging, exactly. Yes. Should we um, hit the palate on these? Yes. Starting with the 43%. But like oddly enjoyable, like in a crazy, addictive, sweaty, mm -hmm. blue cheese mm -hmm. funk, like different for a more. Wow. You never know. That's why you gotta try them all. Oh my God. And then you go right back to the fruits. Nuts. This is nuts. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is lively for 43%. Wow. They, they all are, man. Wow. The 1956 and 1964. But it's drinking big. Drink big, too. It's not my first drink of the day, either. It's drinking big. It is. Right? No, oh, yeah. That's what was so amazing about these Sofiantinos, man. Like, you're always worried about they might flatten out, the ABV's too low. No, they always drink bigger. Well, the 43% is not a Sofiantino. But that's, that version also comes in Sofiantino. Gotcha. I just mean like the 1956 and 1964 are still drinking like as strong as they ever did. And way that, above 43%. And that came, you get, you get, um, you get those beautiful fruits. Oh my God. Tons of beautiful like orange oils, lemon oils, the mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. The mango is still there, the pink grapefruit. Kind of um, that peatiness comes through, that sweet pea. Um, the candy pea. But yeah. you also, in the background, get a little bit of like leather and like white pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that beautiful barrel spice. Yeah, the fruits are drinking big, strong, luscious, tropical, just like on the nose. You do get, you get some beautiful smoke from the peat. Like you said, the, the barrel spice, kind of white pepper, cinnamon. And of course, beautiful coastal sea spray. Yeah, thick, thick, danky orange oil. Wow. Yeah, 43%, this drinks brilliantly. Yeah, I would have guessed 50%. That's how the 1956 and 1964 are. Just these, these 50s, 60s Beaumores, man, the bottlings are just incredible. Why we so yearn for them and hunt for them. 
I'm starting to get like French pastries from this thing and crepes and mm -hmm. buttery like croissants. Yep. Whew. All right, I'm not gonna keep going on the nose. I'm gonna go palate on the uh, full proof, <clears throat> full strength. Full strength. <clears throat> Blue cheese. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Wow. So I'm confused right now. I told you it's a challenging whiskey. Here's what's confusing me about this particular time of having this. I got on the palate tons of fruit, mm -hmm. tons of mango, Ooh. tons of mango and that, that pineapple gummy kind of flavor. Mm. So mango and pineapple gummy funk on the finish, but not funk dominant like it is on the nose. Right. It's 50% ABV, but it's almost drinking like it's 45% ABV. Mm -hmm. Where this one was drinking like it was it's just kind of confusing because I don't remember this drinking that strong. I mean, this could be that each miniature is a little different. Could be. Could be yeah. right now, the yeah. time of day. But yeah, no, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The, the first two miniatures we had were a little bit more delicate. More like closer to 43%. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But definitely, yeah, more, more fruit forward of the palate. Juicy tropical fruits, mango, more mango than pink grapefruit, for sure. This one, I'm not getting pink grapefruit. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that mango. Yeah. And, and uh, candy pineapple. Like the bicentenary mango. Yeah. Nuts. And then with that funk, it adds, so I'm getting, I'm getting more, you know, this, this, real, this palate, the, the palate beats the nose on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the best it's ever been today right now. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the, gonna get better. It's more fruit forward, and the yeah. funk, although pleasant, is in the background. The nose on this though, so damn fruity. Yeah. For one drop. It's almost like you one. mentioned before. You want to combine them. We might to get like the best of both worlds. Do you want one drop in each, or are you good? Uh, one drop in each, yeah. But yeah, very, very crazy how different they are. Yeah, now back to the miniature, 43%, just what a bone more fruit party, man. The nose on this is just, oh my God. <sighs> when you combine that coastal, the, 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 you know, I always say ocean breeze. I almost don't even want to say peat because these old school bowmores are just not so peaty. When you say peat these days, yeah. people probably think you're talking about like medicinal kind of flavors. It's just like, it's almost like an ocean spray. Yeah. When it's exactly, and it's so hard to find. Like I always say... I try to say peat candy. Yeah. You could somehow extract the raw flavor of peat, but make it so candied and sugared and crystallized that it's not even like peat anymore, you know? But it has, it's like that crazy different funky note. Exactly. But without being like, you know, medicinal, no herbal, no camphor, no bengay, no imbrications, no nothing. No icy hot. <laughs> no, I see how exactly. Just, just like and yeah, like coastally, pe coastal peak candy. I don't know how else to say. It. Yeah, it, that's exactly the best combination of both. I'm gonna go one more sip on their own, and then I'm gonna save a little bit of each just to combine it. You got it, man. And it makes you so curious, of course, to try the other two versions, mm -hmm. which we're probably never gonna. The that cask strength is truly. A whiskey unicorn. You're never going to see that again. Maybe if you're in Italy and you are in a state sale, you know, some old crazy Italian guy, collector or whatever with a bottle, but auction, you never see it. You see the French version sometimes. Okay, so maybe crazy. we hadn't had any anything to drink in the last hour. We took an hour, kind of a break from mm -hmm. our last review. Mm -hmm. And because now it, it can't be the one drop of water. Because now it's now drinking like 50%. It, it mellowed out quite a bit. So maybe my pal it was my palate was fresh-ish. Mm -hmm. Because now now it's kind of drinking like like I remember it. Yeah. You? Yeah. It's not as... as, as because it was kind of big and kind of... 
kind of bit a bit of a white pepper spice kind of coming yeah. through. I'm not feeling the that. The right spice now. was yeah. heavy, was dominant. So that was perfect. And when it comes to these miniatures, you guys, they're great. There used to be a time where you used to be able to get things like this for like 50 pounds at an auction. That's gone now. Now you're like yeah. three, 400 pounds at an auction. So, you know, there used to be a beautiful thing. They're all tend to be a little bit different. I don't know why. I mean, every bottle, especially old bottles, it just, they are going to be just sure. a little different. You can have three bottles of this exact bottle, pop them all open. They're not all going to be quite the same. They're going to bottle age a little different. Mm -hmm. um, storage is going to be a little different. Um, and they tend to be, you know, different. So same thing with these miniatures, especially. We, we find, find that they tend to be a little, mm -hmm. but they've all been amazing. The water is again, the water in the, the full strength yeah. is again, shifting the nose, more fruit forward as well. It's toning the funk in the blue cheese, yeah. <clears throat> the sweat socks down, the gym shoes down, yeah. and it's bringing the, the juicy tropical fruits out. You guys are probably laughing at us when we're saying gym shoes, but you have no idea. You put your nose to this thing, yeah. and it's gym shoes. The same way that Brora is crystallized cow manure, yeah. this is crystallized gym shoes and sweat <laughs> socks <laughs> and blue cheese. It's like that funk, you know, that, that greasy funk. But yeah, big, fat, sweaty. Yeah. Everything's sweaty. Yes. The fruits are sweaty. Yes. It's crazy. But I'm the, still the getting a lot. The, the water's improving it. Yeah, but I'm still getting a lot of that funk. Of course. I'm going to do palate now here. But I guess like for me with water, it's it's more balanced. It's mm -hmm. more of a, a perfect balance than before. It was super funk dominant before. These old bone wars, man. What an adventure. Wow. Mm. 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 Mike? Same. The water brought the fruits out more. Same. Yeah. Mike, I don't... I thought for sure this was going to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. And because I'm so addicted to the, this style of fruit. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate the complexity of the funk here, but for personal taste, I prefer the fruit style here. So yes. on the nose, I like the 43% better. Agreed. On the palate, I like this one better because so mm -hmm. much of that mango and pineapple is coming through. It's juicier. And I'm not, and I'm getting a lot less of the, of the funk. I'm not saying the funk is bad. But I don't like it as much as spring bank funk. Let's just say it that way, of right? Of course, of course, <laughs> um, of course. But it's 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 perfectly on the background. It's perfectly like just enough. Ten percent in the give background. It complexity, yeah. On the nose, it's like seventy percent. Yes. On the palate, it goes to you know it's just normally it's weird. So, nose wins here. Palette wins here. How do you feel about it? I feel the exact same way. Yeah. And a lot of it too is that our favorite, the mango. Yeah. The juiciest, most yeah, tropical, yeah, 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 perfect yeah. mango. Boom. You get it in the full strength. And also, to be fair, I am getting a little bit less of the pink grapefruit today. Right. From the 43%. The previous versus two miniatures. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The previous two were just like, were amped up to a different level. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That being said, if I'm scoring them, God, the finish is just going and going and going. Never ready. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna score them both. Both a 93. Is that is that is that fair? I'm like in the same. I don't know what the fuck to do. Dude. Yeah. I'm like same ballpark. Like I started out. I start. I started out 94. Me too. 92. Me too. Me too. And it's like it's nose and palate. But. This dropped a, a point Crazy. and this went up a point. Yeah. I think I agree. 93 for both. I'm going to mix them. It, it's almost like averaging, right? It's almost like averaging. Better nose, better palate. Yeah. 90, but they're both so epic. 93 for both. It's crazy. Wow. Crazy. I'm going to try the mixed. Let's see if we can get to a 94 combined. <laughs> I think it might. 
You get those pink grapefruits with that strong, powerful mango, it's, toned down funk. You know what's crazy? Excuse me. Wow. Awesome. Delicious burp. What's crazy is it takes 90% of that funk away. That's I'd crazy. Feel, I'd feel it would. It's like watering down the funk with Bowmore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's. It becomes more. And this is 50%. This is 50%, this is 43%, but it became more, and I had equal amounts of each, it became more like the 43%. Wow. What do you think? And now you have the enhanced mango. Yeah. The 43% is winning. The 43% is winning, but it's, it, it's, a, it's less fruity. So, on the nose, I kind of like just having them individually yeah. to experience both worlds. And maybe it just needs to sit together for... A day? You kind of see what the blenders go through. Yeah. Mixing casks. Yeah. I'm going to try it on the palate. That's incredible. Yeah. It's hard to say, like, of the three, which one's better. Mm -hmm. I, I, still, I still give it to the 43% nose by itself. But this is amazing together. Had it's to try it. It's again, it's gorgeous. Together, it's a 93 as well. It's a 93 as well. I'd say together, they're a 93 as well. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Fun. Fun to do. Mm -hmm. Fun to do. So something actually that like I almost want, would want to do off camera. Props to people who put out like 10 different whiskeys and like start like scoring them and doing them together. It's not... I like to just kind of individually dive in, but... This palette is going to be 93 and a half. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's close though. <laughs> it's good. Wow. It's really good. What a treat, man. Treat. Oh, God, these fucking fruits, man. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes when we do these reviews, it's it, they get overshadowed by each other because we do, let's say we do three, four legendary whiskeys in one day. A whiskey like this. To me, at least, is like you almost just gotta like have just that whiskey as your legendary whiskey to just outshine yeah. all the other regular drams. Sometimes when you do a bunch of really, really good whiskeys together, you kind of forget how legendary the stuff you're drinking is. Absolutely. But anyways, this is a very long review, so we'll probably end it here. Um, hope does, you guys enjoy this. It does not get much better than old. Yeah. 1950s, 60s Bowmore. No. Man. Oh my God. No, super spectacular. Super spectacular. Um, thumbs up, you guys. If you guys like this video, subscribe if you haven't. You want to see more of these kind of videos. Comment below. Let us know your thoughts. And uh, we'll keep these reviews coming. You got it. Cheers. Take care.